See, whatsoever a man soweth. New quest. I'm just gonna wait till all these empty. Your headache again. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Geralt! Over here! These bowl cuts are amazing. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Man, he can freeze time. What magic is this? I think Show Gerald's off. asking the of same thing. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to using gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Wow. Yeah, the caretaker saying is creepy. Very creepy. I thought it, he looked like a seer for a second, but not a good dude. I don't know what he is. I'm, I'm just... Super Rumple still skinning this dude because I'm watching a TV show once upon a time and he reminds me of the dark one. I don't I I got the dark one vibes off of him. Um yes. Well, he did say in today's episode that he doesn't control time. He can make you younger. So, but anyways, uh you control time or is it just some trick? You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? <laughs> Come now. <laughs> Uh, uh, so who are you really? Ooh! Ooh, is this it? Is he gonna tell us? Who are you really? Gauntero Dim, also known- Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. Uh, and get them into trouble. Yeah, awfully noble of you. <laughs> and get them into trouble. We're gonna go with that, yeah. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft-desired unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, oh. Geralt. You don't. That's a thumbnail. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. I hope they explain who he is. I'd, I'm going to be so mad if I go like this whole DLC and not know who he really is. So why are you even here? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. The, the thing on his Nearly. Side. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. 
As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How was it your Oh here? my god. I've we've seen so many nasty things so far, but that just topped it. That takes the cake. Oh man, he put that in like it was cake, jello. Oh my god. Ugh, I can control time. <laughs> I'm quick. Be real quick, real quick. I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness, just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Oh. What's up with Shani? Oh. Just you wait. The witch hunters will see to you. Of course we're gonna go talk to Shiny. I don't know what she wants. It's optional. Hey, you gotta watch out for that spoon in that dude's eye. Oh my god, that was terrible. Cat eyes. Ladies still to change their name now to more human hunters. She's gonna slowly walk on out of here. <laughs> oh, she's not that far. Slowly back on out of there. See you later. Thanks for stopping in. She's up. Oh, I'm not so busy at the urgent care today. Shani. Geralt, good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no, just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... <gasps> no. No. I'm leaving, oh, Geralt. God. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Uh, uh, why? Why can't I have a girlfriend in this game? They all want to leave me. Uh, this departure is so sudden. Why? Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn him down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Uh, don't go. Don't go. Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life, and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Well... You take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. So, did you learn anything about Olgird? So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. 
Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Permethine Shakeslock, claims well. Algird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Algird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mm. Mage hunters, why? Why? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. All right, so, uh, need to see this professor. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Awesome. Hello, hello. Welcome in. How you doing? So let's follow Shani to the academy. I am just now looking at the poll and it looks like most of you were Yennefer's romancers. That's awesome. Oh, jump off the stairs. So how are things at the academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Eternal fire protects oh, she went pretty far. Us. Gives monsters the shit. Geralt of Riviera, I presume. Oh! Stopped on top of a pile of books. What's going on here? Oh, there's papers everywhere, too. Is this two player? Nope, single By player all RPG. King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get chite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right, let me in. I feel like the whole world could have heard that plan. <laughs> All these uh, Redadian guards seem to look alike. Thank you for the sub. Welcome in, welcome in. Read. Due to ongoing hostilities, all, all faculties and departments of the Oxenford Academy have been closed in the institution privileges revoked. The student body is hereby conscripted into the Redanian army, with acceptance, exceptions granted only to philosophers, whose constitutions make them unfit for any practical activity whatsoever, as well as medics and herbalists, who are required to report to the field hospital at once. Long live King Radovid. Where am I going? Oh, we have to go around back over the bridge? Do we have to swim? Is that what we're doing? Okay. 
I'm gonna go this way. Help! Save me! I'm dying! Looking to make some coins. I wanna see what's in here. There's a dead guy inside. But it's locked. Okay, we gotta go this way. Oh! I didn't know those. I thought I was gonna fall off. Drowners. Oh, drown dead. Uh, no. Come on, come closer. Answering no to both. not called drowners oh it's called drowners here okay it's like wait a minute wait a minute Geralt Psst. are you there yeah I'm here grab the line Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. All right. All right, let's get the witch hunters back at this. Can't see. Woo, very good finisher. They nail the finishers in this game. Say so we are entering Fresh Church. Uh Shake Lock's house. Let's see, let's This should be it. Lock tight. Nope, Need no. another way in. Don't you knock. Leave a window open, Why maybe? would you knock? Let's see. Window. There's a ladder. I see a ladder up there. I see. Oh. Oh, cool. up here. Oh, yes. Uh, what's... I need to go over there. Alright, maybe I can jump. Oh, okay. I can jump. Nobody heard that. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, let's go down. Oh, it just got quiet. Examine. Silver Lumen. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream? Oh. Interesting. Jillian Alboco's lesser key. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Hmm. I had to remember that. In case I need to reread it. Anything else? Oops, I don't know why I keep jumping. All right. Nothing on the bed. Let's keep going down. Franco, is that you? Leave the bed pun in the usual spot. And um, take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, wonder no, it's no, a no. Mess. out. Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. Uh, what demon? What? What demon? Feigned ignorance. Hm. Please, you know. Who's a gunter? Gaunter, old demon. Oh, okay. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. Hm. A mutant. Hm. Hm. Yeah. Could be. Um, huh. you're a prisoner? Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. Mm -hmm. But not yep. enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. All right, so I came to talk. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm, a witcher. Then it follows I need and fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day. Offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Oh, shit. Yeah, I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, his accent reminds me. So he has a very, like, actually, like, it sounds like a very dwarven accent. Um, what else do you know about him learning? Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. All right, magic circle on the floor. What's that about? Because that's how he was summoned. Was he trying to summon somebody else? What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? 
They protect me. Oh, protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Uh, so Ogird makes one of these packs with him. Ogird signed one of these packs with him? Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgird wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. Gunther. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. All right, so... Vladimir, did Olgird kill him? Ooh, yes. Yes, I don't know. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, no, no. Okay. Right. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Oh. So you know all this from Olgird? Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil, and medicine can be much harder to find. So Ogird wanted to break his pact. Why? Why? Why was Ogird out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. What is going on? Oh, no way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Oh. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Oh. So how can I get rid of this mark? Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Oh. Well, this was a lot of help, actually, so thank you. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's Pleasance itself. 
Of course. It was like he was meant to die. What is going on? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay, Gunther has a new character entry. Wow, that was a... <laughs> Fate. Fate. It's a real thing. Alright, Professor Shakelocks. Has, he has an update. <laughs> wow. The professor told Geralt of the long hours he had spent scouring old tomes for ac for accounts of Gunther Odim. Alas, Master Mir. He had, he had been set on his trail by Olgerd von Everick, who paid him handsomely for his labors. This research, this research has borne fruit in the form of a great many secrets about the mysterious Odim, including a possible way to outsmart him. Sadly, however, the professor did not live to see if this trick would work for Geralt in practice. For during their conversation, Shakelock made one step outside the runic circle, drawn on the floor of his residence and died immediately we will never ever oh we will never know if this step was accidental or deliberate by the time Geralt met him he had become tired and tormented wreck who just might have have considered death a relief oh it's like he stood outside the runic circle oh man i see if it's gunther's under gunther um unless it's under something else oh yes it is so Geralt came away from his meeting with Professor Shakelock knowing a way to outfox Master Mir. The demotic pack maker could be lured into a wager, win it, and he would be defeated once and for all. Oof. Oh, I, I'm very curious to see what the end battle is going to be like. <laughs> 